All right, so now that we balanced out this equation, we're gonna learn about something called the SOM or state of matter notation. Now, state of matter is just basically whether something is a solid, liquid, or gas. And so when we have a balanced equation, what we wanna do is we just wanna note write a little uh, parentheses next to it with a symbol that tells us if it's solid, liquid, or gas, okay? So zinc is a solid. So what we're gonna do next to zinc is we're gonna put an S in parentheses, kind of a small one, a subscript, okay? And then for HCl and ZnCl2, it says it's, it says it's dissolved in water. Now, if it's dissolved in water, we call it aqueous. It's just a fancy way of saying it's dissolved in water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an AQ next to these molecules. And then H2 is a gas, so we're gonna put a G next to it. Okay, so if it ever asks you to write a state of matter notation, or if you guys see something like that next to an equation, that just tells you uh, what phase of matter that molecule is in, okay? Pretty simple. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually be running this reaction for up here as a demo. So we have zinc, that's a solid. So I have zinc in here, it's this metal thing. And then we're gonna be combining it with HCl, just the stuff on the left side. And it's gonna make the stuff on the right side, okay? So we're gonna mix it with HCl, which is in here. So I'm just gonna pour some HCl into this flask. And what we're gonna try to make is ZnCl2 and H2. Now, if you guys notice, what state of matter is H2 in? Yeah, it's a gas. So H2 is the one that we're really interested in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture the H2, the gas inside of a balloon, because that's what we're gonna be doing for our demo. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a balloon on top of it. And then hopefully as the reaction goes forward and we make some H2 gas, um, the balloon is gonna get bigger. So keep an eye on it. Don't look at it too often. It's gonna take some time but hopefully it's able to get a little bit bigger because it should produce H2 gas, okay? So while that's happening, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this with some dimensional analysis, okay? So if you take a look at part 1C, um, that's gonna, let's uh, try out this problem. So what we need to do first is we need to find our starting number. So if you guys take a look at this question, it's asking us, how many H2 molecules will be produced in this reaction if there are 582 HCl molecules in excess zinc? Okay, so what's our starting number here? What's our starting number in this problem? 1C. Yeah. Yeah, what's our starting number? We wanna always figure out our starting number. There's only one number, guys. Not two. 582, that's the only number in part C, guys. Okay, so this is our starting number. This is our given number. Our given number is 582 because it's the only number that's written. So what we're gonna do is just like before for the dimensional analysis, we're gonna write 582 and we can never just write the number so we have to write the unit of measurement, which is HCl molecules, okay? Let's just say it's because you're distracted by the balloon right now, okay? Okay, so that's our starting number. Now, we also need to figure out what we're looking for in this problem. In this problem, 1C, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We look for yeah, what are we looking for in this problem? What is this? problem asking us to find like what kind of molecules uh, yeah hydrogen eight how many h2 molecules so what we want to do is we want to end up with h2 molecules we're starting with hcl molecules but we want to turn it into h2 molecules okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a fraction just like we used to do and I wanna get rid of HCl molecules and I wanna turn it into H2 molecules. So if I wanna get rid of HCl, where should I put it on the fraction, top or bottom? Yeah, bottom, because that way it can cancel out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put HCl on the bottom. I'm gonna put HCl molecules on the bottom. And since we're looking for H2 molecules, we're gonna put H2 molecules on the top. 
Okay. Does that make sense why we set it up that way? It's basically the same thing that we've been doing. Uh, we do that so that the HCl can cancel out with one another. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the only thing that's missing on this fraction now are the numbers. So remember how in our old fractions, we always had something like this, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, and that's where we got our numbers, right? But now we're gonna get our numbers from the equation right here, the balance equation. So what we do is we just look for these molecules. Okay, so let's look at H2. What number is in front of H2 if it's blank? Yeah, one. So that means we just put a one next to H2. What number's in front of HCl? Two. So we just plug in two. And there you go. That is your equation. And all you need to do now is solve. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna cancel out the HCl and the HCl. The only thing we have left is H2, and now we just need to do the math. So if you guys remember, the numbers on the top, we're gonna multiply, and the numbers on the bottom we're going to divide. So let's plug this into our calculator. So if you guys have your phone or your calculator, this would be a good time to take it out. Um, you will need it for today's assignments and for um, during this lecture. So let's try out the equation. Okay, our first number is 582. Um, and then we multiply the numbers on the top, but we can skip the ones because if we do times one, it's the same number, right? Okay, what should we do with the two on the bottom? Yeah, we divide by two. And our answer is going to be 291. So the answer to this problem is 291 H2 molecules. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's how you do dimensional analysis with a balanced chemical equation. We just get the numbers that's in front of the molecules that we're interested in. Okay, if you ever see the word excess, Excess just means you don't need to worry about that chemical. You have so much of it, you don't even need to consider it. So here, we don't have to care about the zinc because we have a lot of zinc, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So as you guys can see, we're making some H2 gas. The balloon is getting bigger. The reaction still needs to go for a little bit longer. Um, so I'll have you guys try one problem on your own, and then after that, we'll see, we'll do the demo, okay? Sound good? Any questions? All right, so the next problem that I'm going to have you do, this reaction right here, is actually the reaction that we're going to do for our demo. So we just said we made H2, right? So inside of here is H2, and if we react it with O2, it's going to make H2O. So I want you guys to take about two minutes. You can work with the person next to you. Try balancing the equation. Try writing the state of matter notation with parentheses. And if you guys are really confident, you can try 2B, the dimensional analysis, but we'll go over this one in a little bit, okay? So take two minutes, work with the person next to you, and then we'll do the demo and go over the problems, okay? Make sure you know what's in there. So you guys should be balancing this equation. Make sure you write the state of matter notation. And then if you guys are really confident, you guys can try to be the dimensional analysis.
Yeah, yeah, one turn done. Alrighty, guys. So if you guys are finishing up, feel free to finish up, but I'm going to start going over it uh, just so you guys have some time to finish up your assignment, okay? So let's start with the balancing. The only elements we have are hydrogen and oxygen. So very simple table. Um, how many hydrogens do I have on the left side? Two. And then same thing with the oxygen, right? Okay. On the right side, how many hydrogens do I have? And how many oxygens? One. Good. Okay, so it looks like the oxygen is not balanced. So we're going to have to add to the side that has less oxygen. So we're going to have to add to the right side. Okay, but I have to add the whole molecule. So I'm going to have to add H2O. And that's going to change up both of the numbers. How many hydrogens are on the right side now? Four. Yeah, there's two, four. And how many oxygens do we have? Two. Okay, so we fixed the oxygen, but the hydrogen is messed up. So we're going to go to the left side. If we add H2, it balances out, it gets to four. So we just need to write a two in front of H2 and the two in front of H2O. And that's gonna be our balanced chemical equation, okay? Any questions about the balancing or is it pretty simple? Pretty simple? Yeah, I'm glad. Okay, so we're gonna do the state of matter notation now. So we're just gonna write the parentheses next to the, to the molecules. So if you guys notice, it says the reactants are gases. That means the reactants are all going to be gas. So which side is the reactant side, the left side or the right side? Okay, reactants, do you guys remember? Left side or right side? Yeah, left, because reactants are the things that you start with. Okay, so both H2 is going to be a gas and O2 is going to be a gas. If you guys remember... What are we collecting in here right now? H2, and H2 is a gas. And so the reactants, the starting materials are gases. And then it says the product, what you make is a liquid. So H2O will be a liquid. Okay, yeah. So wait, if, if, if it would be possible to take that balloon. <laughs> we'll get to the balloon later, Drake. No, 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 no. no we're not gonna talk about the no, balloon no, no, right no. now. No, Drake, no, 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 no. No, and then you can, but we're not going to put it outside. No, okay? I know, but it, Moving on. If hey, guys, it's okay. Relax. Everybody. If it was possible to take it outside. Drake, I'm going to send you outside if you don't listen. You'll see. Okay. So this is going to be the balanced chemical equation. All right. Okay. So we're going to react in a bit, but let's do the dimensional analysis first before we do. Okay. Okay, so in this problem, let's start with our given number. What's our given number? Yeah, 74 million. Okay, anyone remember how many zeros there are in a million? Six, good. Very important. Okay, so we have 74 million water molecules. We know water is H2O, right? So we have H2O molecules. We're going to set up a fraction. Since I want to get rid of H2O, I'm going to put H2O on the bottom. And in this problem, what are we trying to find? H2. Okay, so that means we're going to put H2 on the top of the fraction. Okay, so if we do that, the H2Os can cancel out. Now we need our number. So we just go to the equation. What number is in front of H2? Yeah, 2. So we just put a 2 right here. And what number is in front of H2O? Two, good. Okay, now we can solve. So H2O will cancel out with H2O. Okay, is there anything else that I can cancel out? There is. If something's on the top and bottom, we can cancel it out. Yeah, two. There's a two on the top and the two on the bottom, right? So if I have the same thing on the top and bottom, they cancel out. Only thing I have left over is H2, and I don't need to do any math now because there's nothing left to multiply or divide. So here, you don't even need to do any calculations. The answer is just going to be 74 million H2 molecules. Okay, so that was just my way of showing you guys, hey, if you have something on the top and bottom, including numbers, you can cancel out the numbers. And that way, it makes your life a little bit easier. You guys don't need to do any calculations. All right, you guys ready to see what H2NO2 reacting looks like? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna need uh, two volunteers. 
So I think Alan wants to hold it. Okay, Elijah, I need you by the lights. Okay. The light switch. Uh, over there. Don't be scared, guys. I'm a trained professional. You might die. Okay. I'll let you know when to turn it off. So wait, our tennis teachers kind of like. <laughs> All right. I need you, Alan, right here. I need you to hold this. Yeah, like that. Okay. Give me one sec, Elijah. Yes, you can. Oh. Yeah, you can turn it off. Yes, you can turn it off. Okay. Okay, I'll give you guys 10 seconds. Yeah, it did turn off that. All right, Elijah, can you get the lights for me? Oh my god. Okay. So there's H2 inside of that balloon, right? Where's the oxygen? Fire. Not the fire. On the outside. It's around us. And there you go. That's what H2 and O2 looks right like. Here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you don't know when it's going to happen. It's just like random. <laughs> Anyway, that's what happens when you react H2 with O2. You all right? You guys okay? Yeah. All righty, guys. That's pretty much it for me today. I'll give you guys the rest of the class period to work on the assignment. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to check your answers. But good luck on your assignment. How much questions?